Okay, so we gotta get our... Alright, so we gotta get jokes ready for this, huh? Okay, the enemies are called Banana Boys and Strong Arm. The fuck? Banana Boys are the small enemies, Strong Arms are the big enemies. Okay, yeah, and sure. They look sl the first time I saw them, I always thought they was a look a PlayStation 1 version of Tribals. And they look super racist the first time on the PlayStation to me. Uh Huh. Yeah, I, uh, okay. Now remember, you're seeing them with fur on, so they look like apes. In the PlayStation, they had no fur. They were just green, so they imagine the same looking faces. The arrow through their um, hair, but they had green skin. Okay, sure. And why, I was why? thinking like, um, are they trying to make a reference to black people? Oh, I bet. That's horrible. Okay, so, so far you're killing orangutans. Bizarre looking orangutans, but you're killing orangutans. Those are endangered species, man. They all went up them with them. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Oh, they've got arrows through their hair. Dude, that's, that's just horrible. Did they just throw bananas at you? Yep. That's why they're called banana boys. So, to be clear, they throw bananas at you so you burn them to a crisp. Yes. That seems... Yeah, that seems like the right response. You don't know, I could be a little... Spyro could have some type of potassium allergy. Really? He what, could be what? allergic to bananas. Is he? I don't know, I never let the banana hit me to find out. <laughs> I feel like he's not. Uh, no. <laughs> well, see, they hurt me. Probably because you charged them first. Listen, if a banana was thrown at my head, whether I was running full speed at it, or whether I was walking towards it, it would hurt me enough to make a dragonfly around me turn blue. Okay, that, you know, only in this does that sentence make any sense, and I'm not sure it completely works here. <laughs> Isaac. Spyro, if you what? jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Is he a, he looks more like a frog. There it. Go Spyro, go. Yep, you gotta make sure to kill those endangered species who are clearly minding their own business. And they are the slowest enemies to attack me, but they will attack. Those giant big enemies will attack me. They will, um, kick me. They've got those massive ass arms and they fighting style is my team. Yes. Alright. Yeah, I had to that's... literally stand still so I could see them attack one time. <laughs> I may do it again, just, just so. Yeah, just to show it because you guys kind of see it to almost believe it. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite a okay. Sure, I, I believe it. Did the flame just light you up when you passed over it? No, I I think that was just a graphic. I flew past it. Ah. But yeah, this is the. This is one of the hardest levels of Spyro 1. Why? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. You'll see very soon. Alright. I mean, this this brought me to a complete stop the first time I played this again. Lyle? Greetings. Wow. For an amazing tour to you know, a lot of your dragons are uh, kind of uh, healthy looking, you know? Yeah, they like to eat. Again, you're sure we're not putting down a rebellion against some dictator? Listen, this is our territory. <laughs> Whether... Whether the indigenous people like it or not. 
Well, I was gonna say whether we was first or not, but yeah, that's another <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> oh look, the natives. Ah, I miss it. Trust me, you're gonna be seeing that a whole lot in this level. Oh boy. All right, let's go greet the natives. <laughs> wow, that's we got some. Oh jeez. Oh, they actually did throw bananas at you. Yep. Yeah. One the map did hit me. Fire breathing dragon taken out by bananas. Well done. Well done. Spyro's leaping a bit strangely. It's like going belly up to do it. Oh, he always did. For the supercharge? Yeah. See? He kicks me. Oh, oh, huh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All the clear arm strength that he chooses to kick with those sticks he calls legs. I mean, if he, if he tried to at least swing at me, he would fall over and hit the ground. I guess they... That they um, use their arms to walk around so much they don't know they don't have any um, they don't have enough strength to lift themselves up with their legs. Uh, I mean that's the only like, thing I can think of. Yeah, kind of like humans and cars. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's sad but true. Yes. You gotta wonder until how long when our legs won't be able to support us anymore. When we become like the people in Wally. -E. Yeah. I think. Honestly, in some, I think in some cases we're already there. I know. I know we're the oddballs that still like to actually exercise. Why do we like to exercise? Uh, I don't know. Like, is it just a compulsion? Let's go for that. Yeah, I think it's a compulsion because my body just twitches a bit if I sit too long. Before I start trying to do the crazy, crazy hard jumps of this. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see these crazy hard ass jumps. Curiosity. Were all of these indigenous people fairly happy before the dragon showed up? See, I don't know. I really don't know <laughs> if because in Spyro 3 you find out that dragons used to live on the other side of the planet a thousand years ago. And then because of like the sorceress or, or her ancestors, she essentially forced all the dragons to go to the other side of the planet. Not knowing that when the dragons go to the other side of the planet, they, um, all the magic from that side of the planet will go with them. Ah. Because that's how the, apparently the dragons are what's powering these magic portals. Oh, so it's kind of like the Dungeons and Dragons, uh, where dragons were the source of magic? I had no idea about that, but yes. Ah. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, one of the first jumps. Hold up! Ah, no! You see what I'm uh, you see what I'm talking about now, huh? Can you not slow down? You have to go. You have there. to, or you will never make it. Seriously? You'll see. Let me let me. Easy jump, huh? It's, it's that simple, guys. <laughs> uh, what happened? I blinked at this. Where the heck? You're on a freaking tree stuff. Where the hell does this uh, thief think he was going? He literally was about to play Ring Around the Rosie. This, they expected people to find this. There's nothing in this level. 
to tell you. They the only hint you get was one dragon telling you use use multiple supercharges to get what to the, the place. What kind of hint is that? Look, you saw what I had to do. I had to run, jump, jump, and go and make a hell mary jump to nowhere to get over here. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> And I'm gonna have to do that all over again too. What? Oh, God. God. Jesus, no! That is wrong get with this thing. Yeah. No! You could have found an easier spot to get stuck. God, it's like if a dragon and a troll doll made Whoopi. See, even Spyro said, "Okay, this was a little bit ridiculous. Why do you have to be all the way over here?" Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Troll doll dragon. They probably left his ass there on purpose. No, he was probably frozen before every dragon got frozen. The dragons did that one to him. Let me see if I remember how to do this last one. Um, because I had to go backward up a ramp. Okay, yeah, now I remember. Okay, I'm gonna die here just because I need to get that treasure chest, so I need to die so I can circle back around. This is faster. Uh, right. Yeah, death is normally faster. But, yeah, you, you saw that. It, no. Nowhere in the game did it tell me I had to go through that procedure to get over there. Uh, no, no, it did not. That was, uh, that was a little out of nowhere. That's what I want. I want to get that. I'm gonna fly over here. Now notice that stump over there. Yeah. How do I get over there, you may ask? Well, <laughs> in a few easy steps, I'll show you. Something tells me it's not gonna be a few easy steps. This one's slightly easier than the last one, and memory served me right. Does your memory ever serve you right? Um, 50 50 on this. <laughs> over there okay this should be the start to the next one get the checkpoint go right here oh crap okay bollocks I missed it I, I I knew I had to jump right I just couldn't remember how far right okay go up here Jump right. Go up here. Don't take a hit. Keep going. Jump. Go down this ramp. And now you got enough speed to go over here. Makes sense. Yeah. See, this... This shouldn't make sense. Because you saw I went down that ramp the first time. And I could only get down up here. Yeah, but after going through multiple ramps, it gave me enough speed get up here. Sure, makes sense. Yeah, see? They expected six-year-old children to figure this out. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Why not? This brought so many playthroughs to a halt. Because they were like, how the hell do I get up here? How did they expect to get up there without first... Who figured out how to get up here first? I had a player guide, and even with the player guide, I had to look up a YouTube video to remember how to do this. Yeah, I believe that. How the heck? Uh, uh. Well, with that, the next level will be, I believe, we got the flight level next, and then we got the boss. So, next level, it will be wild flight. Sounds fun.